Go ahead. I'm Michelle. I am a former New Yorker who moved to Los Angeles during the pandemic. And you can't keep me out of New York, so I'm back. And when I moved out to LA, I got into road cycling because previously in New York, I was a city cycler. So, you know, I like commuted to work. I went on bike adventures with friends, but it was just really like chill city riding. And when I moved to LA, I got into road cycling, which is really, really different there. I get to ride through the Santa Monica Mountains and national parks and do lots of climbing. And I really enjoy it. But now that I'm back in New York, I want to try road cycling here. So I'm about to head up through the Queensboro Bridge into New York City. And then from New York City, I'm going to ride up to the 9W, which is supposed to be really good for road cycling. So, you know, I'm excited for like a different kind of New York City riding because like my experience with New York City is you know, bike rides with friends to Rockaway, uh, you know, going to get dumplings and flushing and going to Flushing Meadow Park, uh, you know, just like really adventure, chill rides. And like, you know, I want to try climbing here. I want to see what, you know, New York's nature has to offer because New York's got a lot of natural beauty to it. But, you know, when you're in the city, you get a different kind of riding. You got the vibrance and the energy of the people. You never know what you're gonna see. There's always something to look out for. I kind of compare it to being in a video game when you're riding in the city. And like the road cycling that I've been doing in LA, it's like very meditative. Like I just ride on my own alone in the mountains for hours. And like, it's a really interesting experience. And so I want to see what New York has to offer in terms of just kind of riding in that nature and being on your own and really just seeing New York and the outer areas for what they are. And so to do that, you got to ride through the city. So I'm in Brooklyn right now where I used to live. I used to live in Williamsburg. Oh, just kidding. I started in Brooklyn, but actually now I'm in Queens where I grew up and I'm heading up the Queensboro Bridge and then going to ride um, through the Queensboro Bridge, through Manhattan, over the uh, George Washington Bridge onto the 9W. And so we're starting that adventure right now and you're coming along with me for the ride. What would you say or can you describe the differences between riding in Los Angeles, like the city of Los Angeles versus the city of New York City? Riding through the city of Los Angeles is lots of fun. It's kind of similar to riding in New York in the sense that like you never know what you're going to see. There's always interesting characters. Architecture is really interesting. The city is very vibrant. It's very diverse. You get to take advantage of that when you're riding through it. And I truly believe that like Riding through a city gives you a completely different perspective of that city. And I'd say while LA and New York are both considered cities, the biggest difference I find is that LA is a city by way of being populous, right? Like you get to downtown LA and you're like, where's the city? Like where are all the skyscrapers? But really it's, it's a sprawling city with people and vibrance and diversity everywhere, just like New York, but you can't expect to have this like huge, densely populated downtown area. Um, but riding through it is really fun because you get exposed to really what the city has to offer and you get to see it in a completely different way. And riding in New York, you know, very similar when you're in New York City where you get to see all the people, you get to see crazy shit, uh, you get to see stuff that's just like really interesting and I think by way of being on a bike, you get a different kind of exposure to a city and you see how people really truly live. Like even riding around right now, right? Like we see people walking, we see families, 
we see people commuting. Like, you don't get to see it in the same way when you're in a car. And when you're walking, you get to see it, but you don't get to cover as much ground. So what I really like about riding in both cities is just having that access to really understanding the city. I say though that riding in LA, there's more immediate access to nature. Like I live in Silver Lake, which is kind of like Brooklyn in New York. And when I ride through Silver Lake, I can easily get to um, Griffith Park. And I ride up to the observatory, which is about an 800 foot climb. And I ride up one specific way. And as soon as I get into the park, it's like, I mean, I see nature, there's a coffee shop, there's tons of people, but it's just a very different experience. It's, it's kind of like, you know, its own version of hiking, except you're on a bike, which you don't really get the same kind of experience riding in New York City proper. Though I know when you go uptown to like Washington Heights and whatnot, there's a little bit of climbing up there, but it's still more neighborhoody versus being in a park. Here though, you know, in New York, we do have Prospect Park, which is super cool. And you get a little bit of climbing. And we also have Central Park as well. Wrong turn. <laughs> and about to die. You're good, you're good. All good. Let me check something real quick on my camera right here. Hold okay. On. Yeah, I gotta figure out. We're going up here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're gonna take a right. Yeah, it was the, the wind. It's going to be a problem. Whenever it's windy or we're going fast, it's going to get a little little bad. But. Oh, yeah, it was choppy. Yeah, it was super choppy before. But we're good. All right. Now. I'm ready when you Sweet. are. Sweet. Okay. Um, so far, you are doing excellent. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm fucking babbling. But you're going no, to cut that's... out the babble. Yeah, I'll cut out anything when you... Okay. Repeat the same thing twice. Yes. Anything, okay. Good. <laughs> you kind of introduced the route twice, but that's great because it gives me options. Um, okay. Good. But as far as being like, you know, explaining yourself in in sentences perfectly, you're doing great. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Awesome. Am I going the right way? You are. You're gonna you're gonna go right here. Okay. Because my computer yeah. is a little. Don't listen to it. Take a right. Uh, over Take here. Take a right. Oh. Yeah. It's a weird experience to like talk and try to navigate. Exactly. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're good. Okay. Exactly, it's a little strange. That's why I was like, as soon as we get on the road and we're going straight, then you can introduce yourself. But you okay, have that I have area, more, fine. I have more content. So let's talk, since we're on the bridge, let's talk about the differences between... Uh, climbing? Yeah, climbing and becoming a climber. Like a road cyclist in, in California compared to New York and climbing. Cool. So, so now we're on the Queensboro Bridge. And so the funny thing about New York City, if you're riding in the city proper, is while you can find elevation, right? Like you can find some elevation in Prospect Park. You can find some elevation uptown. There's like not a ton of climbing here when you compare it to LA. But the bridges actually offer like the coolest climb you can find because it's super chill it's not a huge climb but the views are insane right like i'm on the bridge right now and to my left i can see the city i can see brooklyn i can see queens and as i'm coming up here on my right i'm going to be able to see more of the city and more of queens and so you know it's kind of like the bridges are like the walkway for all of the city and it really is just what connects New York with the outer boroughs and so it's a really great experience to be able to climb up the bridges 
So I would say that, again, just to be clear, there's not that much climbing that occurs. But hey, you know, if you're starting out riding and you want to just start out climbing, the bridges are a good way to start. And so as you can see here, you see all types of people riding on the bridge on all types of vehicles, right? Like scooters, road bikes. I mean, I'm sure on some days you'd probably see a unicycle. You see people rollerblading, you see people walking. It's just great because it really like democratizes the ability to enjoy the city, right? Because no matter who you are, no matter what you're into, you can get on the bridge in so many different ways and just see the beauty that New York has to offer. Now in LA, if you want to climb, the experience is very, very different. You, there's many options for climbing. You can do a climb as small as a neighborhood where neighborhoods there can just be hilly. Or you can go to Griffith Park and climb there. You can climb up to the observatory. Um, but my favorite climbing is actually climbing in Malibu. And what I like about Malibu is that right now it's the summer. So it's a lot cooler there because you're on the ocean versus being on the west side. And so when I go to Malibu, I usually like to create routes that are like, I don't know, between 30 and 50 miles, 3,000 to like five, 6,000 feet of climbing. And that's like a day for me. And I just go out there and I spend the day climbing through the Santa Monica Mountains. And the best part is the descending. Because when you climb that much, you get to descend. And it really is the closest thing that I can think of that feels like flying. Like you're just flying through these canyons and it's so beautiful. And it really is like an unreal experience. Just like riding on this bridge, they're just very different experiences. I don't so wanna, I would. I love what you're saying, but uh, keep talking about it. But I, I would love for you to, you're, you're throwing out uh, 30 to 50 mile rides and I want, you to explain how long you've been riding a bike to kind of get to that level because people are going to be like whoa she's only been riding for how long and she's already doing 30 to 50 mile rides with a bunch of climbing i think that's inspirational people so like i don't know if you can like weave that into your conversation a bit. so when i started cycling it was in new york city and it was just really chill and then i moved to la and this year actually or last year in october I think about like nine months ago, I guess almost a year at this point, I started road cycling. And when I started road cycling, it was the hardest thing I had ever done. I literally fell off the bike five times in my first month and was like, is this for me? Like, can I do this? But I really enjoyed it. So I kept at it and slowly but surely I started climbing more and more and more and even though the climbing was so hard and it hurt so much i somehow just enjoyed it probably somewhat of a form of masochism but really really loved it and so i just kept climbing and i kept going and i kept pushing myself and then this summer i went to europe and i just you know i had the opportunity to spend three weeks cycling in the pyrenees where I just kept building on my rides. And by the end of my three weeks in the Pyrenees, I had done 500 miles. And one of the rides I did was actually my first century. I did 100 miles with about 7,500 feet of climbing. And I just knew at that moment that I, I found something that I truly love and just brings me so much joy. And so now I'm excited to just keep growing and you know keep building my riding experience. And, see how far I can get right and here. where Follow it takes me. Bike. And I find that it's just a great way to explore. I'm actually headed to Majorca tomorrow and I'm gonna do some road biking there. 
there seems to be some pretty amazing climbs that I'm excited about. So, you know, I'm, I'm riding and I'm just gonna see where it takes me and, and cover ground and use it to really just explore. Straight? Straight, yeah. That was great. My, um, my bike computer's freaking out a little bit, but. That's all right, I'll, I'll direct you. We're gonna go straight until it runs into Fifth Ave and then we're gonna take a left. So straight for a little left, bit. Left, straight, okay, left on Fifth. Left on Fifth Ave, which is a while okay. from now. It's gonna be a lot of traffic navigating right here. No worries. So now we're riding through the streets of Manhattan, which you can see is really a very different kind of riding because here it's, you know, city cycling. So you've got to watch out for cars, pedestrians, um, you know, cab drivers opening their doors, people not looking. But even though that all sounds like tedious, it's actually really cool to ride through the city because it's just so visually appealing right like you look up and you see all these buildings and you see all these people and you see this life and this energy and it's actually how i started riding and how i originally fell in love with cycling you know i used to go to work every day and i would say to myself no matter how much i spend time working or no matter what else i do today if i rode to work that's like the one thing that i did for me and that was really what inspired me to ride was that, you know, I, I quickly learned that riding was my opportunity to just experience the city in a different way. And as you can see now, I'm really experiencing in a different way by riding through this traffic. But you know what? There's something that's kind of fun about it, right? Like it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you alert. I mean, by the time I would get to work every morning, I'd be like, I just, you know, rode X amount of miles through New York City and if I do nothing else today, I feel super accomplished. And so we're headed over to Fifth Avenue right now. We're on East 60th Street. So we're kind of like in Upper Midtown, almost meets uh, the Upper East Side. And that is why there's so much traffic because Fifth Avenue is one of the more um, popular tourist streets in New York, it's a main shopping district. And so there's lots of people, lots of traffic, and you just really gotta watch out here when you're riding because people are coming from all angles. And I consider myself a, uh, a cautious rider, cautious and alert, which definitely comes in handy here in the city. And I try to be safe as well. A little hard to road bike here, I would say, because you're constantly clipping in and out because of the traffic. Um, but so that's why I'm actually cutting through the city and heading into uh, the other side. Oh, I, I just unclipped actually say, right now. Say hello to the guy next to you. Say hello to who? The guy next to you. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Where are you riding to? Uh, oh, that sounds really nice. Are you from here? Oh, what's your favorite bike ride so far? What has been your favorite thing to see so far? Oh, uh, maybe Brooklyn. Ah, where in yes, Brooklyn? Ah, oh, yeah, very cool, very nice. Are you trying to bike ride through the city? Yeah, I'm, I'm using a lot of... The city bike? Yeah, it's our bridge. Enjoy. Bye-bye. He, uh, he was watching you talk and just looking at your bike. <laughs> That's why I was like, you should say something. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. He's probably like, this girl's crazy. <laughs> Why is she talking to herself on a bike, on a road bike in that outfit? That's great though, he's friendly. Oh uh, yeah. He was checking out the bike. He's like, what is that? Why is she talking? Was she talking <laughs> to her bike? <laughs> so up here, you can see the park. We're gonna take a left and then an immediate right. Okay. Left at the park, which is Fifth Ave. And then we'll be in the park and things will get more easier chill. with cars, but harder with people. <laughs> no. <laughs> Noted. 
Oh, we just go straight. I'm sorry. We just go straight. I huh. forgot. Yeah, we just go straight through to the park, and the park will be on the, the entrance will be on the right. So I guess yeah, uh, we can now say yeah, we're about to enter the park here. Here's Fifth Avenue. We're on Fifth and uh, Fifty or Fifth and Sixtieth, right by you know Park Row or whatever the hell that's called. <laughs> So we're, gonna we're ride on. To the park. Yeah, go ahead, so we're about to head into Central Park. We're on Fifth Avenue and East 60th Street. We're essentially right by the Met Museum um, and just a lot of what New York City has to offer in terms of main tourist attractions. And so I've actually never ridden in Central Park, which is kind of wild considering all the years that I lived and rode in New York City. So I'm excited to explore the park and see what it has to offer. My guess is that there's going to be less cars and more people to dodge, but it should be fun. And so in LA, I actually like to ride in the park too. And my version of Central Park is Griffith Park. And so that's like my weekday, you know, I just want to ride anywhere between 10 and 30 miles, you know, climb anywhere between 1,000 and 3,000 feet. So just kind of like a weekday after work or before work, chill ride. And so I get to do that in Griffith Park and I feel pretty spoiled because a lot of the park, a lot of the rides there don't have people. So I just get to go for it. Kind of like right now, actually, like I'm riding and I don't really see a lot of people which means I can just fucking go for it. And if I want to, you know, go fast, I can. If I want to chill and like look around, I can. And so that's what's really cool about riding in parks. They offer a little bit of refuge from the city and you kind of get to enjoy a little bit more of the nature that cities like New York and LA have to offer. And so as you can see here, lots going on. We've got people taking these cute little carts. We've got people strolling around. We've got people on city bikes. City bike is actually a great way to get around New York. I do it when I'm here because I can like, you know, commute to a bar or a restaurant and I can decide to commute by city bike, have a couple drinks and then just take the subway home. And it's like really low commitment, low effort. And they also have e-bikes, which I haven't tried, but it's a good way to also see the city by bike if you're just getting into it. And so now this feels fun, right? Like we've got this bike lane here, not a lot of people. We can pick up the speed of it. Yeah, feel free to, um, if you want, you can open it up wherever you want here. I, I'll be able to keep up with you, I think, I hope. And uh, you don't have to, you know, if you don't want to talk, you don't have to. You can like open it up for a little bit or you can keep chatting. I think telling people this is, I don't know if you've said it already, but this is your first time riding through the park. Yeah, I'll say it one more time so you have two cuts. Cool. So it's super beautiful and chill and peaceful right now. And actually, this is my first time riding through Central Park. It's funny that I lived in New York for so many years and never came up to Central Park to ride. I you're guess it's because I was... You're going to go so right. Keep going. You're going to go right? right up here, though. Yeah, keep going straight, but follow the road to the right. Yeah. To the right, okay. Yeah. So, start over. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Okay, so we're descending a little now so we can pick up some speed and really just ride through the park. But you gotta be careful, because you've gotta respect those stoplights. But you know, I'm looking both ways, we're good. The weather's actually really good right now. It's, you know, it's summer still, so it's hot. But what's nice about the park is that a lot of it's shaded, so you get a little bit of refuge from the sun. Ooh, we're picking up a slight bit of elevation gonna drop my gears down say hello to these people hi how are you 
and just really enjoy this nice, peaceful ride through Central Park. Okay, Terry, I've babbled a lot. No, that's fucking great. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, yeah, like I was saying, you don't have to, I'll keep filming and we can just record you riding through the park a little bit. And then uh, I'll let you know when we exit. Your, your computer should be up to date now, I think. Yeah, I'm all good, yeah. Um, cool. And I'll follow you, I think, for until we get up to like 125th or so. And right, right around there, I'll pull back and then I'll let okay. you go on the ride. But that's where you should say, you know, all right, Terry, it's been fun, but I got to continue the ride. You're slowing me up or something. <laughs> and then okay, you cool. take off. And of course, don't really take off because I need to grab the uh, mic from you. But. <laughs> yeah, I will do that to you. <laughs> I'll, so I'll see you tomorrow, but I still won't do that to you. <laughs> you should think about doing uh, YouTube videos. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, you assume that people want to listen to me just talk endlessly. You would blow up. You would blow up. You would just need someone to film you. You would blow <laughs> up, I, I guarantee you. I would be the happy cyclist. Yeah. I'm like that positive, bubbly, let's climb another thousand feet person. And people like, um, you know, since you're, you're not new at it, but you're fairly new compared to- I'm pretty know, new. Well, that's what I mean. Like, you're not brand new, but you're you're new. So people yeah. like that approachability that you bring to being new, because a lot of people are looking for people who are new to cycling. I'm like that person that it's like, if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah, I feel the same way. I try to make videos that are approachable for people. Oh, you're laughing in the middle. Sorry. Oh. She split them. I know that was not good. Don't, don't ride as I do. This we is all nice make though. Sometimes. Thanks. All of us. I'm filled, Terry. I'm filled with them. <laughs> I'm jealous. I want to ride today. I Perfect have to day for a ride. go back to the studio and pack up. What are you doing tonight? Another shoot, right? I'm shooting. Yeah, I have a shoot at five. I have to pack up and then go out. I'm supposed to be there by five in the Upper East Side, like in the 90s. So. Oh, wow. So you're coming back this way. Yep. Do you ride to your shoots? Yeah. Good for you. I try to. Sometimes if it's like an all day thing um, and I'm not I, it's like a big location, then I'll take the train cause, or a city bike because same thing. I just don't want to lock up my bike outside for hours. Yeah, cars are the worst. I just feel better like going to work, getting a ride in, even if it's like a three mile ride. I just feel better. Oh boy. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> you got to watch I know, out. I mean Yo, you really got to ride here on the defensive and offensive. Well, people, you know, and it's not their fault. They're just new to riding bikes. They can't hold a line. Like, they can't hold their wheels. I to... mean, it's hard to have, the, you know, you can't really always have the 360. Yeah. But I don't was, know. What do you think is harder, people or cars? Yeah, she had that. Uh, she I had that swear, uh, I think people are far, far more unpredictable than cars. Cars are obviously more dangerous, but they're a little more predictable because they're, I think because they're bigger. And That's fair. And there's a predictability about the way people drive here. It's like similar to the way people ride bikes here. It's like a little more aggressive. Another big difference, I think, between riding city in LA and riding city in New York, when you ride city in LA, you actually have to watch out for the cars a lot more because a lot of the roads there are really big and expansive and they're dominated by cars that are going super fast. And here in New York, like people dominate the streets. So the cars are going a lot less fast, which by way of that makes them a lot less dangerous. 
Like, I would almost argue that people, pedestrians in New York, are more dangerous, and cars in LA are more dangerous. Because I, under, it, I agree. Yeah, the pedestrians dominate New York, the cars dominate LA. That's a good way to put that. I agree with that. It's, it's definitely that way. Have you noticed all the food delivery guys out here in New York? Oh, yet? yeah. I mean, that's how they get around, yeah. There are more scooters now, no? There's way more scooters here now. Yeah. Like, times five, at least. Were you ever a bike messenger? I wasn't, ever. So that's, I don't really have that connection to, I just have friends who did it, you know, for a long time. Oh. My connection to cycling is through track bikes and through BMX, BMX racing when I was a kid. And getting on a track bike got me back on the bike again. <laughs> Brake checking down the hill. I know. This is beautiful though. Yeah. I wonder what they're doing here. It used to be an ice skating rink. Oh, I remember that. So they're redoing it, I think. All the parks are being redone everywhere. It's crazy, which is nice. So there's going to be an exit on the right soon. I'll let you know. I'm exiting? Yeah, you're gonna exit on the... Okay, you're breaking up again, but I heard you. Yeah, this, this light, we're gonna exit right. Oh, yeah. So we can do the outro over here somewhere, and then you can get on your way and, and actually ride your bike without me slowing uh, you up. You're hilarious. <laughs> so we'll ride this to about 125th, just so we get some of this. Okay. And then at 125th, we'll just do the, we'll do the, uh, the final the, goodbye. Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll film it with this. But you can just be like, all right, Terry, like, you know, thanks for leading me out, but you're starting to slow me down. I gotta get on this ride. I'll see you next time. And then I'll let you kind of just like ride away. Ride away. Exactly. So I should turn around? No. Okay. Oh yeah, well. To look at you? I'll, maybe I'll take my helmet off and I'll film you like oh, I okay. earlier. Okay. And maybe you should take a left or a right and I'll just keep going straight and you'll be like, bye. <laughs> okay, cool. Here we go. But we'll do that, we'll stop. Oh, we can we can practice it right here actually. I'm gonna do ride. The goodbye? Okay. Yeah, so ride on in this dead zone right here. This is You're gonna zone. ride what? We're gonna ride in this like lane here that we're in. Okay. And I'll just I'll have the camera like this. And you can be like, all right Terry, that, that was fun. Thank you for leading me out. Um, but I really, you're really starting to slow me down. I got to get on my ride, so I'll see you on the next one. We got this light. They're long lights, so whenever you're ready. Okay, Terry, this has been fun, but you're starting to slow me down, and I got to finish this ride. Later. That was a good practice. Well, we'll try and get it. We'll try and get it on. Let's do it right here, and you take a ride on 114, the next street. Okay, I'm going to go right, so let me clip yep. over. Okay, Terry, this has been a fun conversation, but you're starting to slow me down and I gotta get on this ride later.